what's going on everybody it is sunday january 1st and it is 64 degrees outside i just missed where i was supposed to be turning uh so let me turn around real fast but um i am rushing after church to get in a real quick uh, hunt there's two weeks left in missouri uh bow season and i'm trying to get in what I can um, let me turn around here real fast and uh, yeah my I'm headed back to the spot where I've been a few times already this year uh, it's where I was on opening day and had a bunch of deer around me it's where I went and hunted with Madison I've been here a few times it's where I had that little buck uh, come up on me and so I am uh, gonna hunt today. I'm off work tomorrow. So I'm gonna get an opportunity to hunt out here tomorrow as well. So I may leave the uh, platform up overnight, maybe leave my stick so it's less to have to mess with. It is supposed to rain in the morning, so I have to consider that. Uh, but I'm gonna get in here, get set up. I've got a couple of trail cameras I'm gonna put out because I've not done it this year at this place yet. Uh, but we're gonna see uh, for the final two weeks what the trail cameras produce the owner sent me a picture yesterday There was a nice uh, little eight pointer hanging around My goal is to fill tags. So if I have to I'll take two does, but I wouldn't mind taking some antlers I'm Not sure if I'm gonna get to hunt this place ever again because their house is almost built. So uh, we will see uh, What shows up I'm pulling in so I'm gonna be a little quiet and uh, get all uh, Unpacked and ready to roll As soon as I pull into the property, I instantly see a group of five does standing right next to the driveway. One, two, right there. Oh, there's three. Right there, looking at me. Let me see if I can get a shot out. There's more back over there. While I try to take my bow out, the deer finally wise up to the threat and take off into the deeper part of the woods. Right there. Let me see if I can still get in here. Get a shot, shot off on one of them. They're pretty big does. I headed back to an area of the property that I had scouted a few weeks prior and I set up in a tree that was up above multiple game trails and what seemed to be the area where most of the deer crossed on and off of the property. Around 4.30, the five group of does that I had seen when I pulled onto the property circled back. This time they were on the opposite side of the fence line and moving away from me. I don't know if they caught my wind, but my thermals were definitely blowing in that direction. And so they kind of moved on without further Okay, so it is a little after 5.50. I got my two cameras uh, set up and um, both on spots with a lot of deer sign uh, that one is the first one is probably about 10 uh, 15 yards from my sat or from the platform and sticks that I set up so I'm gonna go back there tomorrow morning uh, before the rain moves in we'll see if anything uh, moves through there overnight but I mean there was deer droppings everywhere through there and and that's typical with what I know of this property um, when I pulled in uh, a neighbor uh, set off some fireworks because this is uh, my friend's uh, crazy neighbor and uh, she's yelled at me before uh, for not uh, parking in their driveway but parking in the cul-de-sac uh, that goes down uh, their driveway is along into the uh, the property 
Um, we are in, uh, we are outside of the city limits, but uh, we're right inside the county line. So we're good on hunting, on bow hunting here. Uh, it seems like it's in the city, but it's actually not. It is in county jurisdiction. And so we're able to hunt it. But uh, um, she set off fireworks. The crazy, crazy neighbor set off fireworks uh, <clears throat> a little after I turned the camera off earlier when I saw those uh, those does. <laughs> she set off fireworks and scared them away. And so I saw them kind of take back uh, towards where I had hunted previously. And so, um, and then another neighbor came by and had seen me pull in. And he was, he lives kind of on the other side of my friend's property. And uh, he says that he has some good, good horns, as he calls them. He said, I have good horns that come through and he feeds the deer over on his property. So I think they, uh, I think the deer use this piece of property as a transition more than anything. I think their bedding area is back uh, to the right of the tree I was set up in today. And I think uh, they uh, feed over there. And I know another neighbor uh, on the other end of, the, of my friend's property feeds the deer as well. So there's a lot of deer here. Um, I'm gonna take a doe if a doe presents itself. I'm kind of kicking myself because I just should have shot that doe at the very beginning of the season. But that goes back to what Daryl told me at the beginning of the year. Don't pass on anything at the beginning of the year that you would shoot at the end of the year. And so um, that's kind of the situation I find myself in with that uh, with that doe from the beginning of the year. But uh, two weeks left of Missouri deer season. Uh, by the time this video airs, it'll be about one week left so i am uh, i've got two weeks with two tags uh, today's the first like i mentioned in my intro and i'm gonna hunt tomorrow the second because i have the day off i'm gonna hunt in the morning uh, a lot of thunderstorms are gonna roll in in the afternoon so i'm going to hopefully uh, catch something on its feet tomorrow morning and let the grim reaper uh, broadhead do some work i will see you guys in a few seconds. I got out to the woods by 6.30 and at first light, a little after seven o'clock, I was ready for anything to step out onto one of these paths. Well, good morning, everybody. I just wrapped up my uh, morning hunt out here on January 2nd, uh, hunting the same spot I hunted last night. And I uh, got out here about, got to my tree by about 6.45 and uh, got in there pretty quietly, didn't spook anything up, didn't scare anything. And um, just beautiful morning fog kind of rolled in. Uh, I, I got to the tree a little bit uh, easier than I expected. The last few times I've tried to cut through this thick uh, part of the woods, I got uh, turned around and uh, just made a whole bunch of noise. And I think maybe it has to do with kind of the weather today is foggy. The ground was soft and um, just overall was uh, was a soft, quiet, quiet entrance uh, into into the the woods today. Um, didn't, didn't hear anything throughout the morning, uh, started packing up and pulling out by about 10, 
it, rain started coming down where I was at. And uh, we're supposed to have severe thunderstorms in the area today. And so I, I didn't really want to stick around and get stuck uh, when all that hit. Uh, as I was climbing down, get down to the ground, take the sticks, pack up my sticks, put everything away. Um, spooked up a deer that was maybe 30 or 40 yards through the trees, through the underbrush uh, of a bunch of cedar trees. And uh, so I got real quiet, got low, packed everything up, tried a little bit of a still hunt uh, on my way out. And I actually ended up doing some scouting as I was still hunting. I mean, there, there's so much deer poop through here. Um, it's kind of sad that I've not got a buck. Or, I'm sorry. It's kind of sad that I've not killed a deer out of this spot this year. Um, you know, I think that's I think that's on me more than anything else. Um, but I've still got two weeks left. And so as I found a really good open area with a good oak tree I could set up in uh, with the saddle. I found a scrape uh, over there that uh, had some fresh poop in it. But overall, while not a successful hunt this weekend, um, I feel pretty good about it. I found out a little bit more uh, information about this this area. Madison and I hunted this early season, but now that the leaves are off and pine trees on the lower levels have kind of dropped their their uh, needles and I can see underneath a lot of that, um, I'm pretty confident that I can get a deer here in the next two weeks. Uh, the question is just going to be, is it going to be one or two? So, Anyways, thanks for sticking around. If you if you made it this far, thanks for sticking around and watching today's video. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, hit that bell icon for notifications for the next time one of these videos goes live. So please continue to share it. We love uh, your continued support. I will say I'm working on uh, a hat design and maybe some uh, shirts or two, but... I'm not going to feel confident releasing those uh, for sale unless we can get up to 200, 250 subscribers. And, um, you know, those are just going to be items for anybody to purchase uh, just to show your support for the channel uh, if you're if you're interested. So anyways, again, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate your time and we will see you next week. Remember, at The Weekend Hunter, it's more than a channel name. It's a lifestyle. I'll see you next time.